Now to a story you will only see on NBC Charlotte. The woman accusing former North Carolina Congressman Mel Watt of sexual harassment speaking out to us before a big hearing on Capitol Hill. Both Watt and his accuser, an employee named Simone Grimes, will appear before a federal oversight committee tomorrow. Grimes says when she tried to discuss her salary and career with Watt, he made inappropriate sexual advances, which she secretly recorded. And tonight, NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morbido obtained a second secret recording where Watt questions the Me Too movement. He is live at six with this story. Nathan. Hey there, Fred. Simone Grimes is listed as witness number one for tomorrow's committee hearing. Mel Watt is listed there as well. She says it's bad enough her boss sexually harassed her. What makes it worse, she says, is the way Watt reacted to her complaint and the federal investigation that followed. As much as I respect the Me Too uh, movement, there's an element of it that just says, hey, anybody can make up anything. Not every woman's claim is true. That's essentially what Mel Watt told his employee while she secretly recorded. The very people who uh, designed to be protected by laws end up being abused by those same standards. Word, she says, felt like a warning. There's the crime and there's the cover-up. Once Simone Grimes' boss found out she filed a formal complaint against him, she says he started living up to those words. Well, I've had FHFA staff at my front door banging on the door, you know, scaring my children. Following her initial complaint, Grimes also filed a $1 million lawsuit against the agency Watt oversees, accusing him of sexual harassment and standing in the way of pay equity. Just to be reduced to an object, to a sexual object, is, is demeaning, it's uh, intimidating. He's very well aware of what he did, and he has had ample opportunity to just apologize. Instead, she says his housing finance agency, the FHFA, has continued to retaliate against her, an effort she believes is meant to scare other women from coming forward. Watt continues to say little publicly, early on only telling us he believes the investigation will confirm he's not done anything contrary to law. Grimes tells us he refused to be interviewed as part of the independent federal investigation, arguing presidential appointees are exempt from federal policies because they're not considered employees. We asked the FHFA if that was true, and the agency just said no comment. The lengths to which he's gone to to make sure that I, I feel the full brunt of his power um, used against me has been just absolutely disheartening and discouraging. Grimes says the independent investigation prompted by her complaint actually wrapped up more than 40 days ago, and she's still yet to hear about what the next steps are. That's why tomorrow's House Financial Services Committee, scheduled for 1030 in the morning, is so important. By the way, some of those committee members are from North Carolina, including some representatives from Charlotte. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.